What's up guys, it's Power Bang bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. We've got a live attack to kick this one off today. We also have uh, some new troop strengths we're going to take a look at. We're going to look at the hogs, we're going to look at the miners today. Starting off at the miner live attack in just a moment with a special guest. All right, guys, we've got Sean Tu, the leader of WHF, with us today. Sean Tu, what's happening, dude? Not much. Now, do you go by Sean Tu in real life, or how does that work? <laughs> no. All right, so no. just Sean? The Tu is, uh, this was my second account. <laughs> so how did it become your, your first? Like, what happened with that? Um, well, if you saw my first, you would know why. <laughs> oh, God. It, it was a bit rushed, maybe? It, it's got some Lego walls. Yeah, uh, it happens to the best. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That was just you. Um, anyways, uh, you got some live attack action for us today. Uh, gonna hit number fourteen with miners. Is that correct? Yes. Cool, cool man. Let's, let's hop into that, and you can walk us through exactly what you're gonna do, and I'll try to illustrate it as best I I can by clicking the screen and yeah, communicating what you're gonna do. So anyway, what's up, man? What are you gonna do? All right. So I'm gonna start with the uh, queen walk. Starting at about seven o'clock, I'm gonna first do a, a wizard on the like the gold mine and the army camp mm -hmm. to funnel that, and then uh, K Max's idea, I'm gonna put a gall or a giant down and put the healers on the giant, and then drop the queen behind, just to try and save a rage. You gonna drop him on the mortar there? Yes. Gotcha. And then. Uh, break into that archer tower at six o'clock have my queen go in there and clear out that stuff i'll have a baby dragon to help funnel the gold mine at five o'clock and then uh the previous attack red did a, a sui lalo and uh he found out there was a bunch of air skellies right so my miners should be able to roam free and uh, he did basically this queen charge, but it was a Sui, and his queen ended up um, after almost made it to the other side. Yeah, after she cleared out the expo and the wizard tower, she jumped back out of the wall and ran around to go take out archer towers and stuff on the three o'clock side. Got it. We just watched the replay on uh, the video as well, so they kind of have an idea of what the queen got just with the Sui entry. Uh, suicide, meaning yeah. no supporting troops, really, besides the heroes. Um, got everything but those final three archer towers over at 3 o'clock, so pretty solid little charge there. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's nice because the CC is not in range, so I don't mm -hmm. have to worry about pulling that. For sure. Uh, one question I had on that. So you're going to have the golem with the healers on it, um, on the mortar just down there. That should... Uh, it's just a giant? Yep. Hey, all right. So you're going to have a giant at the bottom with, uh, what, two healers? Uh, all four are going on it. All four. Okay. So you're basically going to do a transfer at some point whenever that dies, right? Yep. It Got should you. die pretty quick as soon as the expo and the archer towers lock onto it. So what was the plan for the king? Uh, the king is going to be uh, going from 9 to 12 o'clock, just okay. helping, helping keep the miners nice and tight cool and then what angle are you hitting with the miners from uh about seven seven gotcha. nine. bottom bottom left right you're going to use the king yep. to keep them on the inside and then the queen's going to trim out a lot of that initial stuff to get the miners to go right through the inferno towers and the, the core basically yeah if cool, it goes man. if it goes to plan i'll do two rages on the queen then i'll okay heal after that first inferno rage through the heroes and then have another heal for the second inferno awesome man you ready to give it a shot uh yeah all right well on you my friend I'll, I'll be ready to click the the button as soon as you're ready um and then a little bit later we'll take a look at some attacks that already went down today uh we had jl dropping four rages on a minor attack at town hall 10 which is insane and then we had a sweet hog attack as well by uh, Vent, so we'll take a look at those in just a minute as well. But for now, the man of the hour, Sean Two. All right. All right. Let's see if you can clutch it. We've got the flying cups giving us all we can handle. Uh, like, do they do they mean cups like as in jockstrap or? 
Like, cause that just, it's a weird visual. I think it's like, uh, trophies. Oh, those. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking something totally different. The other little voice you hear helping out is uh, King Max Jr. Didn't introduce him. I figured I should. Your vibrator's going off, by the way. <laughs> so, looking really good so far. Oh, uh, yeah, it's actually going a lot better than I expected. The giant triggered the, the wall breaker trap, and, and he's still alive. Like, what in the world? Let's hope the queen doesn't go to the gold storage. Sheesh. Because that's a great tree outside. If she does, just rescue her with the miners. No, she's nice. good. Nice. Dude, not a single rage on the queen. This is... You have no healers for her, though, so beware on that. Ability needs to come up right now. Yep. All right, so same three archer towers left. Oh, the giant did too good of a job. He was supposed to die. Sorry Damn you, giant. <laughs> what in the world? I blame K-Max. Yeah. K-Max, if you wouldn't have had that brilliant idea to get through that bottom section unscathed, it wouldn't have ruined the whole raid. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, like, that went way better than I thought it would and yeah. ultimately it, it kind of cost you because the healers never transferred the queen was supposed to get this whole bottom section down here as well um, but now does the maybe, I like four maybe I should have just brought a couple more wall breakers and broke her into the tesla compartment I have no idea so Sean good try yeah. dude um, I liked it I'm going to take I'm going to take a look at some of the, the other rage. I think what you did wrong is you didn't bring four rages like, uh, like JL did. <laughs> yeah. Now, I still haven't ascertained if that was an on-purpose thing or if JL like meant to bring four rages, but we're going to take a look at that here in just a moment. Um, so I'm going to bounce out of this chat here. Sean, thank you so much for, yep. for doing the raid for us. I appreciate it. Um, K-Max, thanks for helping out, um, but unfortunately your help kind of sunk the ship. Yeah, I suck, I know. Sorry. <laughs> just playing, dude. Just playing. But anyways, guys, uh, peace out. I'm going to move on to a couple other raids here to show off. Uh, we'll be back. We'll have you guys on the channel again soon here. Uh, but thanks again, guys. Say goodbye to Sean, too. All right. So I am uh, doing my own thing now. Sean, too. Thanks again, man. Really appreciate it. So here is where are we at right here. This is what I wanted to kind of show off, guys, with regards to miners at Town Hall 10. We have level 3s now available, and god dang, they are strong. And, you know, the, the traditional meta has been to drop in um, heal spells. Let me get out of this channel entirely here. Boom. All right, so we've dropped in heal spells as kind of like the ideal, you know meta i guess you would say with miners and jl here is going to bring f rages and all he does is he drops a little bit of a queen walk queen uh you know minor like just a healer on the queen to help her get through one little section king on the outside there and then miners and all he's doing is raging him through the base so a heal spell goes down at the first inferno tower and a rage spell with it that's going to get them through uh the enemy queen help him out a little bit there and then after that, he just rages everything through the base. And this is, like, unexpected. I thought the miners would die out much sooner than they did, but they just, they didn't slow down, man. They absolutely didn't slow down. So he's got a skelly spell here. Let's see where he drops it. And he's going to drop that right on the Inferno Tower. The strategy behind that is he's trying to soak up those Inferno Beams as much as possible, distract them from actually locking onto his miners as they approach. So he gets everything cleared out on the way up to the, uh, the Inferno here. And the two healers actually healed up the miners to an extent as they went by, and the Rage Spell is going to help him get through that section on the left side. Now on the top, we've got another group of miners, guys, cruising through the base, and 
Ultimately, you know, it looks like it's getting pretty thin here, but as the troops come together towards the end of this raid, notice how many miners are actually left on the field. It's kind of surprising. There's a pretty big group here in this first uh, side. It looks like, uh, oh, I don't know, seven or so in that first group, another four or five here, six maybe. And then on the top, another uh, five, three, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, that being said, though, probably 15 miners left over as they, you know, kind of collect on the last expo there. Uh, really, really sweet attack there by White Walker King, and I honestly don't know if it was uh, intentional, like the, the whole rage thing. So I'll get some clarification on that and maybe leave it in the comments. I was trying to get a hold of him a little bit earlier. Uh, couldn't do so, but dang, dude. Miners, you know, obviously they're uh, stronger having that extra level of Town Hall 10. Um, and then we can go ahead and take a look at some Hog Rider action as well. Wanted to see how, you know, they've got some additional strength now too with the recent update. So we'll take a look at this raid. He sends in one Hog Rider here to get that CC lure. He gets a Baby Dragon, Witch, and a Valkyrie out, which is a pretty common uh, CC. There's also a Wizard and a Goblin there to make up that additional five uh, for the Town Hall 10. So double Poison down, and he's basically just going to take out the Baby Dragon, the Wizard, all that with the double Poison, which finally walks into the Poisons here. Queen, not quite going to lock onto the Wizard, or the Witch yet, but... She is going to go down to the poison. So here we go. The queen is going to walk the correct way. He thought she was going to walk the right way, but the baby dragon saved it just in time. Now down the left side of the base she goes. Not too bad so far. She's going to step in and also have an opportunity to take out this inferno tower. Probably going to need to pop the ability here or drop the rage bell, one or the other. But here we go. Uh, giant bomb. Hits him, but he's going to use the ability, take out the Inferno, and continue on with the raid. Now we've got some minions helping to thin out the buildings up there at the left. And the King going as well. Now he's trying to get these Wizard Towers taken out, as that is the bane of the, the Hog Rider's existence. Especially with those higher level Wizard Towers. They just they chip away too much health and require too many heals to get through. Um, really, really nice wall break there to get into this uh, core of the base. And that's going to allow the Queen access here to get all three of these wizard towers as well as the enemy archer queen which is an absolute must if you're trying to hog a town hall 10 base so as the queen goes in rage spell being used she takes out a few skellies first before she gets on to the uh, queen and the business she's got to take care of in there the king doing a great job getting that town hall secured and working his way around the outside of the base now from the bottom right here comes the hogs look at these bad boys level seven red uh gavels there with the the gold spikes gotta love it they are crushing the center of this base with a rage spell um, and some heal spells to back that up. He actually double heals the core and uh, he's able to get through it no problem. And then here's a rage to get through this last little section. Get all the way around and then all the way to the Inferno Tower. Look at how many hogs he has left over, guys. That is uh, a lot of hogs. He does get hit with a giant bomb there, but it does. I mean, this is absolutely smash jeeper. Crazy, crazy attack here by Vince. Um, absolutely loved it, man. This was uh, an incredible queen charge and also hog attack. I mean, took advantage of kind of a skinny base, and then he, he was even able to trim some off of the side. So all of those spells, because the hogs didn't have to fan out really far and wide, they were able to concentrate their firepower as well as get optimal coverage from those spells because they were able to basically cover the entire area where the hog riders existed so the entire camp space full of hogs got the benefit of the spells guys so vince dropping some uh some town hall 10 action we had uh, a whole lot of awesome stuff with the miners today as well um we also have i'll show you guys one more bonus attack we had some dragons guys at town hall 11 <laughs> This is not something that you see every day, so let's go ahead and watch exactly how this plays out. And he doesn't get the three here, but dang it, if it wasn't close, um, I don't know what else is. So Fighter Legend here dropping the uh, the Queen Walk, Queen Charge here from the right side. He intended to do a little bit of more of a Queen Charge here, but he had a Wall Breaker fail. Luckily, the, uh, the Queen actually does break through the wall here, so here's the test Wall Breaker. Unfortunately, it tested the wrong spot, and he gets all of his Wall breakers nuked by the little bomb that's one thing with the new strength in the little bombs guys the you it's imperative to test those spots because you know it will take out a wall breaker at level so that is something that you saw right there now the queen's going through the uh the the wall right where that first wall breaker went off which is actually good because he's trying to get these air defenses taken care of now he wanted to open up this junction right here which would have opened up this air defense as well and if he had gotten that air defense, that would have been absolutely ideal. Now it's time to take out the CC. 
after the air defense is down another rage spell being used and at this point we've got some dragons starting to come in on the upper left portion of the base you'll see those in just a second here so there's the baby dragon working on the funnel done and now you'll see those dragons start to come in with the king helping to funnel them in so the queen's still doing her thing still alive still working but not going to be able to get that last air defense and that is going to be pretty key so here goes the eagle firing off at the king all of those dragons all the balloons uh coming in from the top and it looks like the balloons are going to go straight to the inferno tower here comes a rage spell to kind of speed them along going to take out the uh, wizard tower and the inferno tower Nice job on that, and it looks like the Grand Warden is going to be able to pop the ability here. As those balloons get to the core, they're going to take out a lot of key buildings there, including the Air Sweeper, and a delayed heal is going to get those balloons back up to nearly full health as they help to take out a lot of key buildings in the core as well. So the Queen is finally down, unfortunately. Um, this air defense is going to be a problem. More balloons come in from the bottom left, and it looks like he is going to take out all of these uh, structures down there. Looking pretty good. Unfortunately, this dragon goes to the Expo first and not the air defense. Not what they were looking to have happen. And then uh, the, what's it called? The air defense here is taking out the uh, the balloons. And that is pretty much the last uh, hope that he had. He had to help get help, help get these dragons through the base quickly. And that was kind of the, uh, the task at hand here. Because as you can see, he does have enough to get through this last section. All he had... Uh, to do was get through this air defense, which, you know, one or two puffs from the drags, which he had two of them remaining, and the shots from the Grand Warden would have taken it out no problem, and then the ground expo at the end would not have provided an issue for him at all. Uh, but that being said, it was a great attack, just didn't quite uh, pan out for him. Flying cups are being uh, handled at the moment. We've got a few attacks left on our side. We've got uh, five Town Hall 11 hits left. Uh, to go for us all of our town hall 10s have gone and for them they've got three town hall 11 hits two town hall 10s and the remainder are town hall nines they're still trying to clean up the nines on our side so shout outs to the town hall nine defense from whf but anyways guys that's going to do it for today's video thank you so much for tuning in and watching i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it like the video if you would and if you're new here please drop the sub and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys peace